let's look at Uganda's performance with regard to economic transformation. How Uganda has been performing in economic transformation. First is that Uganda has the largest number of rural population in East Africa, whereby 76% live in rural areas, but with an agriculture sector that contributes the lowest of GDP, which is 22%. This implies low levels of productivity and high levels of poverty. So in Uganda, we, we, we have the highest population in that, in the villages in East Africa. Yeah, though the agriculture sector contributes less to the GDP of the country, which is 24%. So it implies that people are in the villages, but they produce less than what they're supposed to produce, and which is a significance of poverty in Uganda. Another point is urban informal sector accounts for more than half of the GDP. For example, it contributes 51% according to the rebase figures of 2018 and 2019 financial year, higher than any other East African country. So in, in Uganda, it's the informal sector that, that contributes more to the GDP compared to all other se sectors in the economy, and it's higher than any other country in East Africa. Like the people in the market bring in more revenue to the country. People in the market, people you know, we know, yeah, pe people who do normal businesses in the informal sector. Yeah, they contribute a higher per percentage, which is more than a half to the GDP, which is 51%. Another point is that access to electricity is as low as 22%, much lower than Kenya. For Kenya, it's 56%. Rwanda, it is 51%, and Tanzania is 33%. So a few places, especially in rural areas, have electricity. Yeah. So we, we only cover 22% of the whole Uganda. Another point is that Uganda hasn't completed the demographic transition. It still has the second lowest death rate in East Africa, whereby it's 12 per 1,000, and for Kenya it's 10 per 1,000, but also has the highest birth rate of 48 per 1,000. So the population growth rate of Uganda is 3% per annum, which is still high. Lastly, is that Uganda's tax GDP ratio, which is 14%, it is lower than that of sub Saharan African average, which is 18%. Tax to GDP ratio is highest among the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development countries, which is 35%, but for Uganda, it is still 14%, which is still low. So, that has been the Uganda's performance with regard to economic transformation.